will begin Fabrics of the East, Emily's Dress. Hello, children. Welcome to the Abbas Historical Society, home of the... Do not touch that. Don't touch anything. You are to look with your eyes, not your greasy little fingers. <laughs> now, we have on display here some uh, relics from the historical Pioneer Valley. Now, I know this wasn't your first choice in field trip, but I assure you that this is going to be far more entertaining than some decrepit amusement park. Now, if you follow me this way to the foyer, I can show you some very fascinating old land deeds. <laughs> Stacy, you would not believe where I am right now. Not Six Flags. Yes, they canceled our field trip because of the storm. So now I'm stuck at a museum that smells like old people. <laughs> oh well, it'll be a good time to work on some lyrics for my new songs. Emma, you can't keep leaving me behind. We're field trip buddies, remember? Ugh. Yeah, no. It was just a nerd I partnered up with. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> no cell phones in class, remember? You're going to get in trouble. What do you two ladies think you're doing? Um, I'm on the phone. Duh. Do you think Emily Dickinson had a phone? Or Robert Frost? Actually, Robert Frost lived until 1963, so I'm sure he had a phone at some point. Well, aren't we a little Miss Know It All? Yes. <laughs> well, if you're so knowledgeable about history, why don't you two do my job? Sure, it's my dream to be a librarian. Uh, yeah, no, I've got other career plans. <laughs> oh, ha, writer. Lovely thing for a young woman to do. <sighs> Not just any writer, a songwriter. I'm gonna be a rock star. Rock star? Well, mm, I, uh, if you ask me, I think girls should stick to quieter arts. Um, what's that supposed to mean? Well, take Emily Dickinson, for example. She kept to herself her whole life, writing poetry alone in her room, and now she's one of the most renowned poets in history. That's because she was good, not because she hid from the world. Oh, I like to think it's because she was disciplined. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to mention, we are very proud to have on display one of Emily's dresses. It is said she wore this ensemble quite often. Wow, so historic. That looks really uncomfortable. I just realized, I think I left some of your classmates alone with the China dolls and you kids better not be having any fun! <laughs> His mind-like fabrics of the East displayed to the despair of everyone but here and there. Uh, listen, it's a nice poem. A humble purchaser, for though his price was not of gold, more arduous there is, that one should comprehend the worth was all the price there was. I don't get it, but it's kind of catchy. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was an accident, I swear to God. Well, 
no pottery exhibit for you. I am going to have a word with your teacher, and you are going to wash this until it is spotless. If I find a single thread out of place, you are in for it. But I didn't do anything. No, no, but follow me. First, I don't get to go to Six Flags. Then I'm stuck at a museum doing dead people's laundry. What could, <laughs> what could go better? Listen, isn't this kind of cool? We're at the museum after hours. Yeah, cool for nerds like you. <laughs> Constituted time, I do determine a revelation of yourself was there for a day. Another poem. Ooh, text! <laughs> text from Stacy. Uh, pardon me, man. <laughs> I'm not sure. Why, well, one moment I was at my desk in my room, and the next I'm here. What are you doing wearing Emily's dress? You're going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but this is my dress, silly. I've been wearing it this whole time. What? what? You've both got some odd clothing on. <sighs> in fact, this is all very strange, isn't it? Am I dreaming? I must have fallen asleep. My name is Emily. Emily Dickinson? How did you know? Oh. <laughs> uh, you're one of the most famous poets in history. <laughs> I must be dreaming. No one knows I write poetry except a few select people. N not in our world. Look at this. It's a whole book with your work. Poems of Emily Dickinson? <gasps> oh, these are private. <laughs> I'm completely altered. What What are these little dashes after all of my sentences? <laughs> Who could have done this? Published by Mabel Loomis Todd and Thomas Wentworth Higgins. Oh, they're supposed to be my friends. That's not all. <laughs> Look around. This whole room is dedicated to you. Oh. No. Why? This is no dream. This is no dream. This is a nightmare. That this isn't your nightmare. This is mine. <laughs> How we burn this book and take down these clippings? I, I'm sure there's more than one copy. Of, I'm sure there's more than one copy of that book. No. What on earth is going on in here? Oh yes. Are you the curator of this establishment? Who the devil are you? <laughs> Museum hours are ten to four. Yes, uh, I'd like to formally request that you dispose of all my personal material at once. You have no right to display someone's work without their consent. What? Sorry, where she comes from, you you can take. Are you? Things from. Is this a friend of yours? We actually just met. <laughs> Are you wearing Emily's dress? Uh, this is a historic museum, not a playroom. Everything in here belongs to me. You better put that back. Uh, sorry, can she at least stay to help us clean? Uh, fine. I didn't realize it took a whole team to clean a dress. Now, I've got a sandwich to get back to. <laughs> we have to get you out of here before he realizes who you really are. Hold on. Oh, what's the point? My whole life leads to this exploitation. So bad. What's so bad about it? Like, I'd love to have people like my work. 
my songs as much as they like your poems. Oh, you're a musician? A rock star. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm it's a different know. type of music. Oh. Musician. Well, in my Amherst, all the women I knew were virtuosos. What was that? Mm. It was the height of fashion to be exceptional on the piano. No, I'm a poet, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but art should be shared. Mm, no, believe me. An artist is better off keeping her work to herself. That way no one will judge it or appropriate it. Um, what are you going to do? Well, what are you going to do? Stop writing? Of course not. That's like asking me to stop breathing. I will write, but I will hide my words away. And I'll hide myself away as well. Then, before I die, I'll burn them. No. <laughs> I can't let you leave. I can't let you leave. But I can't let you leave without letting you know how important it is for people to know your poetry. Mr. Johnson! <sighs> what is it? Are you done yet? Uh, oh, I see you're not. So, what do you need? Sponges? Soap? Hydrogen peroxide. What? No, do you even know how to play clothes? <laughs> Why do you think I need you? <laughs> Mr. Johnson, how have Emily Dickinson's poems impacted you? Me? That's a highly personal question. Uh, I suppose I like how she can bring light and beauty into dark subjects. She can turn death into a friend and open to a bird. She's got something for everyone. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. But she never. But like, no. didn't she never? No, but she want, never wanted. But Emily. she never wanted no. any. No, that's true. She kept to herself her whole life. After her death, she no, wanted. She wouldn't. Have, I. I think if she really. I think if she really wanted to hide herself from the world, she would never have put anything down on paper. <coughs> Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Good. Get back to it. See? <laughs> See? You've changed lives. Without meaning to. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> we are different artists, you and I. My words. My words. My precious words might be twisted and turned by the wrong people. <laughs> what if they were twisted and turned by the right people for the right reasons? Mm. Let me see one of your poems. Let me see one of your poems. Not even mine at this point. <laughs> Can I turn them into a song? Why not? They've already been co-opted. <laughs> this is my letter to the world that never wrote to me.
cool? Why would I want it to be cold? Cool means... Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> so you're okay with this feature after all? I'm not sure. It's not that simple. Imagine if someone stole your diary and hung it up on the walls for everyone to look at. I do know that I ought to return. At least that you can at least think about what we said. I will. But how do we get to me back to my desk in my room? Hey. Wait. Wait, 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 ah! <laughs> wait so, so you came right after I read this poem, so maybe if I read it again. Then you would go back to your time. So should we try it? Or... All right. So you constituted time. I deemed eternity. A, re a revelation of yourself was therefore deity. The absolute removed the relative way that I unto himself adjust my slow idolatry. Emily, Emily. Not even a good a goodbye. I hope this doesn't alter the space time we're doing it. What now? The what was it? The coffee stain is gone. Thank you, time traveling magic. <laughs> the dress is good as new. <laughs> I. No idea how you did it, but I definitely think you've earned your freedom. Uh, Mr. Johnson, nothing's changed, right? The world still knows Emily Dickinson and her poems, right? Right. Why do you ask? Mm, it's just that. Mm, do you think that Emily changed her mind and said she did want them to be sure? Changed her mind? <laughs> <laughs> no. Emily Dickinson hid herself from the world her whole life, especially her poetry. After her death, in her will, she ordered to have her poems burned. <laughs> Come on, Emily. Now, luckily for us, she had some friends and family who knew better. They published her poetry shortly after her death. But do you think she would have been happy about it? I don't know. I certainly am. Aren't you? I am. Yeah, same. Good. Oh, by the way, uh, in case it wasn't perfectly clear already, you are both banned from the Amherst Historical Society. <laughs> what? what? You nearly destroyed a precious relic. Banned! <laughs> well, Molly, how does it feel to be the bad. <laughs> well, I got to stay after hours at a museum, and I met Emily Dickinson, so I guess it wasn't all that bad. Yeah, and I guess books and that stuff can be pretty great after all. Want to go back to my screen? Sure. I still don't like it. I neither do I. <laughs> of this script in the future. Um, and please come on up. Please see the dress, the actual dress, so you can compare and contrast what our <laughs> relic looks like. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, please, you may start moving around.